Good morning, folks. How are we? Hello, you. So good to see you all. Apologies for not being around much lately. Um, but today starts a new era of geekism. Geekism 2.1, I'm calling it. Um, I hope you're well. Hope you're well. Camera's a little low. Never mind. Ass is up. <laughs> um, yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing good. I, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, JCB. Um, uh, we can't hear. Can you not? I feel like everyone else can, Matt. Uh, shh, I'm not really here. Hi, hi, Autumn. How's it going? Um, it's been some time since forgot. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we're back into a proper schedule now. It took me a week or two to get sorted but basically i have quite a lot on at the moment um so getting everything back into place and stuff has, has taken a little while so um do we get patch notes yes of course rob yeah uh good thanks working as always well you gotta keep on the grind eh uh, it's good to see you awesome so uh yeah so i had no time to do do i see d and d books behind yes yep yeah. It's my D&D book collection. They're moving soon, though, because they're, they're, they're starting to get too many. They're, they're slowly pushing the 3D printer off the shelf. So I'm actually going to be... They're going to be out of sight, so I'm going to get in a bookcase to be behind the PC here. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So from now on, we're going to be live streaming at this time every weekday. So Mondays to Fridays from 9 a.m. till around about 10.30. So an hour and a half stream. Keep them pretty short and neat. Um, we're going to be live streaming, and it's most likely going to be Planet Zoo, maybe some Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, because I, that's something I've never played before, and that's out now. Um, maybe even a little bit of Planet Coaster, you know, whatever floats our boat, but hopefully something creative, and we're going to try and be fun. So, we let's head over into the game. Womp. There we go. So, last uh, sort of thing we've been working towards is our uh, beginning of our Australian section. So, we're going to continue that today. Um, we've got this will eventually be a viewing area for koalas, and this is going to be a viewing area for kangamaroos uh, who are going to chill out there. So, uh, that's kind of the focus today is keep working on this area, and maybe I hope we can maybe look at a third Australian animal that fits uh, again as well. I uh, played RC3 back in 2015. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I just missed it for some reason. I played one and two a lot, but I um, but I never played uh, number three. So uh, let's have a look. So this this stone area here has ended up pretty. I'm going to call it finished. That, that's a little bit of a steep slope there, but for the most part, I'm going to say that 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 pathway there is is done. Bar maybe a little bit of signage. So happy with that. Uh, this rock work here all looks okay. Coming down this side looks okay. Uh, that looks all right there. That looks okay there. Um, that looks okay there. So maybe this bridge uh, needs obviously a bit because at the moment these these bars aren't supporting the bridge. These are um, you know just a, a way of making it so that kangaroos can't get through into the into the area. But this bridge here does need some sort of a support system uh, put in place. So that's probably what we're going to start with today. There we are. Good stuff, right? That's a bear with me because it's been literally weeks since I played, maybe even a month since I played Planet Zoo. So I can't remember where anything is. Uh, okay, so the Arctic beam, I know it's Arctic, but should actually work pretty good for this. So I'll start with that. I'm not a huge, massive fan of the uh, of that concrete just being sort of on the side there. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks fine. It's just I I, I know that it's in game, and that's not good enough. <laughs> so I'm going to take this down here. Now I think this there is a slight curve to this path, right? Oh, just at the end there. So as long as we account for that here, we should be okay. Yeah, there we go. So um, as well as live streaming every day, uh, we're going back to daily videos as well. Um, new games come in. We, we may well head back and finish off. I want to finish off Mega Aquarium. Um, I think we'll probably hold off on Foundation until it's, it has another update now because we kind of hit a bit of a uh, stick with that. Um, so yeah, so probably some, some, probably some Mega Aquarium. But other than that, we have new games coming to the channel. So tonight, uh, later on today, 
Uh, is it Among Us? No, no, not not no. We're going to stick to the creative stuff. So um, tonight is a new game, and tomorrow is a new game as well. Well, actually, no. Tomorrow isn't a new game. It's tomorrow is something we have played on the channel before, but um, it, it is in it's in full release. So we're, we're getting the the full version of the game, which is exciting. Okay, can we change the color of that? Yeah, I'm gonna if we tone that down into more of a sandy color. That might look quite nice. Yeah, I like that. There we go. So, uh, so how are we all, folks? What have we all been up to the last few weeks? I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're all staying healthy and happy as best as you uh, as best as we can in this in these uh, uh, in these times. You know, where was that piece I just had? Why have I completely lost that piece I just had? That one wasn't it. Yeah, there we go. Right, cool. Uh, I want the shorter one. And what we'll do is we'll make a pillar and then we're going to copy it uh, across. So, uh, so I quite like. I don't think you have you well. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Xander started in um, uh, a full-time French daycare now, so he goes to um, he goes to French daycare five days a week, which is pretty crazy. Uh, have you heard about Project Prehistoric full release in spring of next year? Um, do you mean Prehistoric Kingdom? Or pro I don't know what Project Prehistoric is. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Prehistoric Kingdom. Yes, yes, of course, I heard about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to that one. Uh, I enjoyed it when we played it. It was a, it was a pretty early build that when uh, when we last played that game but I, it definitely got a lot of promise and um, I think everyone can agree that uh, as fun as uh, Jurassic World Evolution was it didn't really live up to well at least for me anyway it didn't really live up to what I expected it to uh, to be you know well what are you, are you just looking all right later off just got home from hospital Saturday. I'm doing much better now. That oh, sorry to hear that, Mama. I hope you, I hope you are doing well. I was just said you, you just said you're doing better, but that's good to hear. I hope you make a full and speedy recovery. Uh, I've got to, if I remember rightly, these are huge. Yeah, <laughs> uh, is that somewhere in between? There we go. I mean, this is going to put it onto a grid, but I feel like we can. We can deal with that. It should be like there. That goes to the ground. There we go. Okay. So I've gone off. I've gone off that piece. I quite like that bit of detail there, but I think we need something. Uh, I think this needs to come up. There we go. Uh, is it coming out? JWE two? No, no. Can't wait for JWE. No, it, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing there will be one eventually, but there's, I don't believe there's any official announcements on that yet. Uh, so did you fall off Animal Crossing? I know that's happened to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. We might. He I might head back to have a look at the Halloween stuff when that comes out soon, right? I could. I could see maybe us popping in for the Halloween stuff, but yeah, I. I yeah, it's not necessarily a fault of the game, but. I, uh, I I found that um, we kind of really burnt ourselves out with it, and then and then the, all the updates for me personally have been not nowhere near enough stuff, you know. Um, they're thinking about it. I mean, you go, you don't know that, <laughs> like, but yeah, the chance. I'm sure they're probably thinking about it. Halloween's out now. Oh right, okay. Well, yeah, maybe maybe we'll go and have a look at that. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too fast. Uh, is this a realistic park? Mm, kind of. It's not. It's not the height of realism, honestly. Um, but you know, we we take we take some of that sort of stuff into account. You know, we don't we don't go crazy. But I'm not really keeping realism too too high on the list this time around, to be honest. Like the pumpkin growing, I'm hoping there'll be a bigger update with more farming. Yeah, I'm surprised it's taken that long to do it because it's. I mean, it's basically flowers, right? They just they look different, eh? Okay, so this side 
is not uh, visible to the guests. So I'm going to make it plainer. Well, not as visible, I suppose. Uh, and also we need it sort of safer and less less things going on with it so that it doesn't bother the uh, the old Kangas. Hello, you. hey MacGyver, how's it going buddy? Good morning Connor. Yeah, just checking to keep the lights on. Yeah, I do feel bad that we kind of just abandoned Sherb. Like the others I don't really care about. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe maybe later this week we'll, we'll head back in. Top of the morning to you and the rest of the day to you my friend. Um, okay, that'll do. I just want the three, I think. But maybe they need to get shuffled over a little. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so. Uh, oh, did we not join all these up? Look at me doing half a job. Uh, how's Xander liking the new KK? Is he certainly now okay? Yeah, he does. I mean, like a couple of days he's been a little bit fed up about going, but for the most part, he really enjoys himself. Uh, he he can say he says bonjour, merci, au revoir. Um, uh, yeah, which is which is good. I, and oh, and he can count uh, under toi. Uh, I think he can count to like five under toi can cinq. Um, so that's pretty cool. Is there a reason you sent Xander to a French nursery? Because I have studied it for a long time and I'm doing it at college. Uh, we sent him to French nursery so he learns French. <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no, <laughs> there's no secret to it. Yeah, just um, we would like him to be bilingual because it's uh, it isn't really necessary, especially here where we live in Canada. But it's just a nice sort of string to his bow. And while he's young and a and a, and a sponge soaks all that sort of stuff up, yeah. Go for it. Earlier the better, yeah, because it the uh, the French school here is very good, so we're hoping for him to go to the French school. Yeah, that's annoying. Let's just see. Oh, perfect. Hey, Chanty Fam. Hey, Joanna. How's it going? Uh, oh, I just realised I covered it up on that side and didn't on the other. Okay, well, we can fix that. <laughs> I think I like it uncovered actually. Yeah. I think I like it there. That does mean we have to pull these out. Uh, because they're actually no we won't, you know, we'll go we'll put those there and they can be more of a supporting thing. Uh finally make it to a live stream. It's been too long. Well to be honest with you, this is the first live stream in quite a while, so it not may not necessarily be that, that you've been missing them. It may well be that there just hasn't been one. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're going to get rid of you now, because with you being there, that kind of doesn't really make sense. Um, and then what I'll do, like we did on the other side, just shuffle all of those over. There we go. Yep, yeah, happy with that. It's just enough to sort of show a bit of support. I feel like maybe it could do with some beams in there as well, some thinner beams. Just, just to kind of give it a bit of uh, verticality as well. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Yeah, something like this. Uh, I think it's my eyes, but the supports don't look level and straight. Uh, yeah, I think it is your eyes. Because <laughs> they were built on the grid, so... Yeah. A bit of an optical illusion. Which for me, but I'll let you know. Yeah, no, they were they're built on the grid, so they are 100 percent straight. Interesting though. So those of you who uh, who follow the sort of Planet Games community uh, will know the names Estan Wolf, Beyond Drew, Mass Bandit. Of course, you'll know Mass Bandit. It's one of my favourite creators. Well, they all are. Uh, and we all played D&D &D last night, which was super fun. Um, it's It was a completely new group. Uh, well, bar um, we had a session zero last week, so I was setting all our characters up and stuff. But uh, it was a new group, uh, uh, Masked uh, DMs. Mask was a Dungeon Master, he did a fantastic job. He's a really, really great DM, really fun DM. Um, 
and yeah, it was the first go- first ever D and D for Dan and um, uh, Drew, uh, a few others as well. Uh, uh, be- uh, because race car and um, oops, and Duct Tape Forum, who are members of the uh, who are members of the uh, Bro Nation Discord and the Bro Nation group. So yeah, oh here, I'm asked here. Look, get to work. Oh no, you've got a week off, haven't you? Sorry. <laughs> Um, I didn't even know you were here. Look, I'm sitting here. I could have been. It's a good job I wasn't saying how terrible you were. But yeah, no, we had a blast. It was really good. We all got set up. Um, we were in a. Uh, uh, we were in the Harvest Festival, and we were we were drinking in the bar, and then um, skeletons attacked the city walls. So I'm hoping uh, next week we find out what those naughty skeletons were doing. Because we that was basically the end of the night. Was we we, we finished uh, we finished killing them basically, and then we had to leave it for the night. So I'm hoping next week we find out why on earth there were skeletons attacking the beautiful city of Silversun. Uh, sounds great. My dad has been playing D and D for about forty years. It's good fun. I'm a relative newbie to to D and I've played a couple of times in the past and never really gelled with it. Uh, but quite recently, mostly due to working uh, doing some work for the game chamber, I've kind of found myself head first in it because they're um, they're really quite into it there. Why can't I just click that one? There we go. Uh, and then I uh, got chatting with Mast, who's who's a who's a big fan of it as well. And then we did, and then he's decided to put a group together for us, which is really great. Lots of fun. Yeah, week off. Just joking. That's fine. I'll let you off. No, the other one. Yeah, the other mass bandit. Yeah, there we go. I think that just adds a little. Name of the right group, Magda. It, it really does, and I was really impressed with, uh, like I say, two of the, three of the guys actually last night have never played D and D before. Um, um, and they they were role playing, and it was great. Uh, so I played D and D once. Turns out that DM uh, that the DM operates in slow motion. Three hours. Couldn't get my character into the story at all. Oh, right, yeah. It, it does very heavily depend on the DM. And I uh, kind of looked out with Mass because he 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 creates the, a game like that I enjoy to play. Like, he, his sort of style. And, and like, I, I've seen other DMs who are really focused on the numbers and, and, and will just get you to, like, roll for everything. Uh, and, and, and I'm not quite as hot on that. Uh, what are you making? We're just messing around with, a, with a, the beginning of an Australia area because we're a little bit behind. But today we were just sort of working on the uh, the bridge there, um, and we've already got a bridge here. So I, I feel like that that bridge design would most likely just carry on. It would it would seem uh, it would seem a little silly not to have that same design over here. So we'll start work on that. So I'm, I might bring some map making to the channel because I, I've done a little bit of map making on uh, Game Chamber, um, but it isn't really the best content for the Game Chamber because it, it the the whole point of the Game Chamber content really is to is to push towards sales for the store and and the the map making videos I do are you know you can't really there's no way of monetizing them so even though they kind of fit the uh, the sort of remit of the channel and the sort of content we cover, it's not really ideal. So I, what I might do is start bringing some map making stuff to Geekism because it's super creative. Um, so I, yeah, I'm thinking I might do that. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it looks nice. Nice and colourful. Got the recycling dudes are here. Uh, da -da. John T, because you live in Canada now, two years ago in a trip to Canada to the falls, my passports got stolen uh, and we had to stay for a couple more days until they were found. Posted in case you didn't see. Uh, uh, yeah, cool. Well, do you want me to, why, do you want me to go look for it? <laughs> uh, almost at 100k now. Oh, we've been almost at 100k for six, nearly a year. <laughs> Thanks though, yeah. Because she's gotten big. Oh, can you see Indy? Hi, people can see you. Can you? So she was walking around and she's just here chilling, look. People are looking at you, baby. I know. Oh, you're a happy girl, aren't you? Are you going to come say hi? Come on, then. Oh, come on, then. Oh, 
Here she is. People want to see you. You're the star of the show. I know. I know you're the star of the show. Hey? Yeah. Oh, oh you're such a big popper. Where are you going? Oh, I know. Oh, you're such a big puppy. I know, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. You, just like, you like snuggles, don't you? You think you're a lap dog, don't you? Yeah, I'm trying to get on daddy's lap, don't you? Okay. Good girl. Off you go, then. Good girl. Off you go. Oh. On to your bed. On your bed, baby. Bed. Bed. Can move those eyes, puppy dog eyes. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oof. Uh, he's getting big. She is getting big. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure she'll get much bigger. Uh, is a dog bed soft site? Yeah, it's just here, uh, just down there. Look, she hangs out there, looking sorry for herself. <laughs> Indie cam. I have a. I did have a spare webcam, but uh, my my. Wife's obviously work doing a lot of work from home and um, Zoom meetings and stuff, so she's had to take the the spare webcam. Uh, so at the moment, no, no, no indie cam. Sorry, <laughs> you drawing inspiration from anywhere? Just messing around with the RDP? Uh, yeah, just messing around. So there was a little bit of inspiration for the kangaroo uh, layout, but yeah, for the most part, just kind of uh, having fun with the with the Aussie pieces. Yeah, let's just move all that across. Perfect. Okay. How is Indy coping with Xander being out every day? I know they're pretty close. Yeah, she's actually pretty good. If it's just me and her, like now, like she, she kind of just chills out all day, you know. Um, like she's pretty laid back and just kind of hangs out here. But yeah, she's she's all over him when he gets home, and they they play for a while when he gets home. So, which is nice to see. So that's those in. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's a nice, nice little band of colour there. I like that. Yeah. Uh, John TV saw the spooky door yet? Halloween be coming soon. Good timing. I know, right? That's the problem with this, with a relatively newer house like this. All the, all the doors are, uh, are non-spooky. <laughs> um, so no, no, uh, no spooky doors here. Although we went and got some pumpkins the other day from the, uh, from the local farm. So we're, uh, we're nearly, uh, nearly ready for Halloween now. Can't wait for when they announce the new, the next DLC Fly Zoo. I think it will be a while. Well, it looks like they're running on a three-month schedule, so I reckon you've got uh, about two months to wait. Right, how have we done this? Okay, so. That really needs to kind of sit up there, I think, doesn't it? Here, uh, December DLC, yeah, makes sense, I suppose. Any wishes for the next DLC? No. Oops. Excuse me. We do not have a barking dog. No, no. Oops. Might be quite tricky on a on a curve, but we'll we'll give it a go. Okay, let's get the let's get that in place, and then and then we can adjust this to to suit, right? Okay. European, as we don't have any animals from Europe, yeah, good shout. What piece is that? Wood beam square. I'm assuming that with two le two meter one was too la too large. Oh that no, oh, that could work, couldn't it? But you just don't put them as often, I, I guess. So obviously they need them here where the where there's a curve. But otherwise. Uh, 
Do you reckon they'll do any more DLCs for Planet Coaster? No. Uh, hi mate, we're crazy here. To stop it all, I've just been told my flat of 25 years has been demolished. Oh no! Hope for a new home for you. Wish me luck. Yes, in luck indeed. My goodness, I think there's nothing worse having to go find a place under duress. Uh, like that. I thought developments are, yeah, I'm pretty sure developments ended on Planet Coaster now, yeah. You might get a few like bug updates or something, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure they're they've obviously got the console port, so I don't know I don't know how DLC is going to work with that uh, with the console version, um, whether they'll get the same DLCs or um, you know or different or what. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's been any real mention of that yet, right? Uh, how many nice catch streams lately? Uh, but I'm working from home today. Glad to see you back in Brazil. Hi, Marissa. I'll be honest with you, we haven't streamed lately, so it may well not be that you've just missed them. It may well just be that there hasn't been any. <laughs> uh, okay, so that seems silly to try and figure out something there. So how about we just put a rock in there, I guess. I we can even just do uh, maybe something like that. Oh. oh, I'm all, all achy today. I don't know if I had life funny or something. Getting to an age now when that kind of thing happens. Lie, lie a little funny in bed and you're feeling it for days. <laughs> Good girl, indeed. There we go, and I think I'll grab that stone there. Bring it up. And loosen that up. There we go. Uh, problem fix who new rocks. I you uh, rocks filling in little gaps like that, I use them all the time. <laughs> They're crazy useful. That sort of thing. I know that feeling. Ugh. It's old age happens to us all, eh? Hopefully. Well, oh, hey, Fly to Fight, how's it going? Good to see you. Nice to see all the names I recognise. All right, there we go. Boom. Bill Rain or little Timmy up on the closure. Yes, exactly. Can't have that, can we? Um, good, thanks. Glad to hear it. Oops, there we go. Hey, Jansi, finally got a stream after a long while. What are you doing? Uh, we're building some uh, fencing currently. But, uh, but yeah, like I said to before, it may well be that you're not, not that you just missed them. They just haven't really been streamed that much lately, so. I haven't really been much content at all lately, honestly, so. But we're back on it now, schedule's all sort of settled down. And I've now got my daytimes free again. There was a little bit of time where Xander was transitioning between the two daycares, you see, so. I was pretty much uh, full on with him. So, uh, so yeah, we seem to be back to normal. Box fix it. <laughs> Right, moving on to the coffee. Moving on to the hard stuff. Oh god, that's still crazy hot. I made that like an hour ago. Jeez, that thermos is really, really earning its money. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, so these need something. Like a, you can't just have a big log there. We need like a little leaf decoration or something on them. 
So we've, like this kind of thing. Obviously, this is African. You know, like a small one of those. Yeah, these flowers could work. I know they're South American, but they're pretty generic. Oh, we've got the word wood selected as well. Uh, that's changed the stream title there. No, just just coffee for now. Yeah. Um, random question. I heard you've been getting into D&D recently. My friend just asked me to join his group, and I'm not sure if I want to join. Is it easy to get into? Uh, that's a great question. It, it can be easy, um, and it can be difficult. It really depends on the group and on the DM, or the dungeon master, the person sort of running the game. Um, what, I would, uh, what I would suggest um, is see if your friend is willing to put on a, what we call a one-shot. So a one shot is where you you just play for an evening and it's a self-contained story of a much smaller scope. Um, so the one shot might be that you are uh, you're a group of mercenaries hired to go and clear out a goblin cave uh, or something like that. And there's no sort of larger world. It's very specific this little story. Or um, I mean, one shots can be anything though. I mean, like one we did a while ago was uh, we were all members of the uh, the city guard and we were tasked with the job of um, uh, finding a lost ring. Um, let me just shut this Benjamin guy up. Ugh. Uh. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. Um, oh, it looks like I haven't got a mod at the moment. Never mind. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so see if they're willing to do that because then it's just a night. You just have a, you just enjoy yourself for the day, and and then at the end of it, you can decide whether or not you enjoyed the, uh, you know, the sort of feedback loop that is D and D. Um, that's what I would uh, suggest doing, and then you can really see. So that that's a good that's a good way of doing it rather than really get, having to get invested and know, you know, I mean, some D and D games go on for years, right? So. Sorry, I missed that. Don't worry, awesome, it's fine. <laughs> we got there. It's just every time I click the button to hide, like he typed it in again, so we had to move. <laughs> like he moved up with him, I was like, oh, I couldn't, couldn't catch up. <laughs> um, yeah, what we got? So it's temple wall pieces. Yeah, I think some of these little leaves and stuff will do. I do. It kind of depends on how big they are. It's just it's shy bigger than I want. Oh, there we go. That one's pretty good. Um. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to use these leaves. Just to give them a little bit of colour. Uh, hey Toves, how's it going? It's looking nice. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's starting to look like something. We might need to do something about that there. That's a little a little open. Rock rock might has, have to, uh, to come up there a little, I think. Hmm. Perfect. Yeah, you invest in a PS5? Any games coming up uh peak of interest? No, probably won't bother with a PS5. Whenever I buy a console, it sits and collects dust. Like I just don't play them. Um, as far as games piquing my interest, yeah, we've got a few. There's a few new games coming to the channel this week. Um, the the one thing I'm looking forward to that probably won't be on the channel, but I, I want to play it, is that Cyberpunk. Uh, just on my break, uh, working from home, glad I caught you. Hey, DJ Fingers, welcome. Enjoy your break. Um, so, yeah, the um, yeah that Cyberpunk looks awesome. So excited for that. Uh, as far as the channel goes... Um, I'm still really looking forward to Evil Genius 2. Unfortunately, that has been pushed back until next year, which is completely fine. You know, with the with the situation going on at the moment, it's kind of expected, I suppose. Um, uh, but yeah, other than that, we've got we've got a few new bits coming, hopefully, and we'll have some more fun with those. Yeah. Uh, why not have Cyberpunk on this channel? Uh, it's it's just too different. It's just. Um, 
uh, anything that isn't really sort of like creative play uh, or simulation tycoon style play just does not do well on the channel so uh, and it's fine I, I get it you, you know we, you, we put our um, any news on film studio no it's gone really quiet that one has unfortunately um, um, what was I going to say but but uh yeah, like we put our we put YouTubers in um uh we also put our uh, YouTubers in a little box, right? And 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 you kind of know what you're watching and that and that's cool. I've kind of come to terms with that sort of stuff recently. Um excuse me when I hear them. Do you mean work plus this? Thankfully quite quiet today. I was looking away for a second and he's sneak yeah, they're sneaky. Uh, you're going to continue making Mega Quarian video? Yes, I, I would definitely like to finish Mega Quarian because we've come so far on that last one, right? Um, uh, I've been having fun playing the beta for Craftopia. Can't wait till they finish it. I just thought I'd pop by. Hey, Romano, thanks for popping by. Mana Lords, yeah, yeah, Mana Lords looks good. Yeah, Mana Lords looks good. A little early, maybe. Um... But relatively, relatively solid, I think, for where it is in development. Um, uh, I want, I wanted to play that um, medieval dynasty. I think it's called. Um, and I, I requested a key and never heard back from them. And I, I I'm not too sure whether I, I want to buy it because I kind of hate buying games. <laughs> Need to bring that up a little, I think. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're building bridges. Ha ha. It's cool, I think. A nice big area to see the old kangas on. Uh, how do I be good at building detailed stuff in Planet Zoe? Uh, just practice. Keep making stuff. Keep trying. Uh, videos of my career and the reason I play it. Oh, nice. Did you see that RCV was uh, free on Epic Games about a week ago? Oh, oh, no. Was it? I did not hear about that. Is it still? Oh, that sucks balls. <laughs> uh, you know, I think you really like building bridges. I do. I built three recently. Absolutely, watch play many on this day. I've been watching a different person play, and it's just not the same as what you play. Oh, you're very sweet. Uh, I've watched um, a couple of Raptors play of it. Um. Uh, yeah, a couple of uh, Raptors videos, and 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 yeah, I, I I think we could maybe give that a go. I don't know whether it'd be a real long term thing, but it looks fun. Um, there seems to be a bit of a medieval resurgence at the moment. It's funny how they all sort of come round at once, isn't it? Like we've got there's Egypt coming. There's like five Egypt games coming out next year. Uh, at the moment there seems to be a bit of a, a medieval kick. Which is cool. I, I like uh, I like medieval lore and uh, especially sort of like medieval fantasy. I, I it's one of my favourite uh, things. All right, there we go. I'm happy with that. I'm just looking at this bridge now. So, I guess we need to think about any rumours for a new Planet Coaster or updates for it. I very much doubt there'll be any updates for Planet Coaster now on the PC. Obviously, there's a there's a console version come in, and I don't really know what their plan is with that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, Planet Coaster Two I feel is years away still, um, and I and I don't think Planet Coaster is getting any more updates now. Uh, oh, you're very welcome, Connor. Thank you. Uh, very sad that the Wakanda's Woodland Passes got pushed back a year. Oh right, yeah. Well, that's good that they did that and not just like cancel them. You know, he's um, my joy so forty eight. Oh wow, yeah. You'll be able to try some of the bigger stuff. Well, there's always next year, right? Uh, recently went back and watched all of your Azuri Gardens. Will that ever be finished? I, I doubt it. I don't think me, neither me or Mast have got the uh, inclination to, to finish on that, unfortunately. Um, I mean, we really, as soon as Zoo came out, that, like that was kind of a, a push for us for, to not bother anymore because we were kind of, why, why make do with uh, Planet Coaster when you can actually just make an actual zoo? Um, and I just got into the first one, so I'm glad I have a few years to play it. Yeah, yeah. Very great for all of the purchases. Yeah, no, that's really good of them. Yeah, um, I think I also think in some ways it's really great that they've just closed for the year as well. You know, like and not bothered to try and do stuff. Uh, I actually really kind of respect that. That they, as long as you know, they've been financially able to do it. I know it's difficult for people, but I, I'm really impressed that they just said now. Do you know what? 
we're just going to write the year off and uh, yeah i think that's a good move right uh had a zoom meeting oh welcome back <laughs> uh oh, oh no welcome sorry you're saying yeah we just got here so i guess we carry on with the bridge thing but i feel like this one is probably better rocky but with some pipes here because obviously the water needs to flow so I'm going to come into this one and copy that piece there and bring it over. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. So we want to take it there to there. I reckon about 15 of these. Let's bring them up so we can see. Okay, sort of far away have we done it? All right. Uh, what was the Dinosaur Theme Park game in Access you highlighted uh, as early this year? Looked great. Uh, yeah, that was uh, Prehistoric Kingdom. So they've announced it's going to Early Access. Um, I forget when now, actually. Let's have a look. Because we will definitely be covering that one on the channel. Prehistoric Kingdom. Uh, quarter two, quarter two, twenty one. So a while yet. So like April, May, June time next year, we'll be we'll be able to play that one. And then there's also that Roots of Pasha, which is like a. Uh, um, uh, a caveman and a caveman style uh, Stardew Valley, I guess. I don't know. That one looks kind of cute as well. That's on the list. Got a big old list of all the sort of stuff we'd like to cover. Seems a tighter gap. Ooh, uh, misses. Does it really? I suppose the, the fix would be just to copy two or three of them over, wouldn't it? And then we've got the right gap then. Uh, after bed, see you later. Good night, Connor. Keeper is feeding the animals in the background. Well, good, that's his job. <laughs> oh, oh, what, what, what? One says, hey, dinosaur pin. Whoop. Oh, they do look a bit wonky. I wonder if that's what they were talking about before. So it's like a few games. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's starting to pick up again. I, that was one of the big problems why I haven't really been pushing content much lately because, like, there just there hasn't been anything um, that's really been like teeth teeth sinkable. I think there's a few that's coming up now that will. Uh, that look pretty fun. So yeah, exciting, exciting times. How do you keep updated on new games? I um I scour uh, key mailer. Uh, that's a pretty good resource for, for new games, even if you don't get the keys from there. Um, and it's just general news websites, uh, Twitter. I um. I'm in a couple of little Discord groups where uh, where people who make similar sort of content, um, you know, YouTubers who make similar sort of game content will share stuff a little, like, oh, you know, I've just, just dropped onto this, looks like it's our sort of thing, you know, or whatever. So it's a nice atmosphere. That's cool, that's cool. I'm not particularly invested in the game, to be honest. So uh, you're welcome here. We're just here, we're just chatting, we're just chilling, eh? That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, it needs to go way down there. There we go. Who's that one person who disliked the video? Oh, that'd be my mother. She wants me to get a proper job. Boop. Yeah, always get a few dislikes. It's all good. Any news on Paralyzed? Um, like. They show stuff most weeks. They'll they'll show a cool little thing. Um, I think I I think I've got to watch 
Oh no, I know. I think I saw the last thing they bought out, which was some um, some random stuff that Sebastian was doing, which was one of their characters. Um, they have announced that they're going to do a house build video, which I'm really excited about because obviously that's the sort of thing we're interested in, right? Um, but yeah, other than that, it's kind of like you know. They, uh, hi from Ireland. Hi, Danny. Beautiful country you live in there. Any quarantine activities you've uh, been really into recently? Um, miniature painting. I, 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 this, this whole back of this back of my office now has become a miniature painting uh, setup. So I've been doing a lot of that. Uh, I'll show you what I've been working on if you like. Two and you. There we go. Right. So, so first of all, this is uh, Bernard Bernard Truckle. Now Bernard is. Yeah, I'll jump to the chat for a second so you get a better better view. Bernard is uh, my D and uh, D character for uh, Mass Bandits campaign. Oh, is the camera just does not want to focus, does it? Um, and he's a uh, he's a cleric. Uh, like an old weathered barbarian who who has found the light and is now a cleric. He's looking like an old old guy. He looks he's, the inspiration for him is Cohen Cohen the barbarian from Discworld. If you've seen that, um, so I I just finished him up. I I just wish the camera would focus on him. Just doesn't want to, does it? Let's see if I can do something about that. That one. What? <laughs> uh, there we go. If I put him there and then change the focus. I turn off auto focus. There you go. Can you see him better there? So there's Bernard. Um so I, I did him, and then I, I just actually started him again because I used contrast paints on him, and I, I feel like it's cheating a little. So I'm going in with this one. Now this is just add base coats on this one, so he needs a lot more work. Um, there we go. So yeah, yeah, I painted them. Yeah, so they were they were printed on the 3D printer that's back there, and then painted. And then the other thing I'm working on at the moment is a slad, a green slad. Uh, which is a monster in D&D. &D. I'm working on that because we're doing a video for the Game Chamber about green paints. Uh, and I'm really happy with how this guy's come out. So I ju I've just got the green at the moment. But again, I don't, I'm don't. i not too sure whether the video is going to really show up the detail there. But uh, I'm really happy with the, the shading and like the shading I've done on his hand as well. I'm really happy with. Um, yeah, again, it doesn't really show up great on the camera. And he's just had his green done, and I started messing around with the fireball there with some glazes. That's like a clear, clear resin. So, so yeah, there we go. That's 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 what I've been in really interested in. Whoop. Is it focusing? Is it focusing? There we go. Done. Right, I can read everyone now. Sorry. Uh, really remember the map making you did? Yeah. Um, oh, hi, Lulani. How's it going? Uh, good to see you. Um, rock climbing in my garage. Nice. <laughs> uh, really enjoyed the map making you did. Yeah, Incarnate. Yeah, I'm gonna, thinking of bringing some of that to Geekism. I need to just double check with Tim today about it. But yeah. Uh, you paint those? Yes, I did, yeah. D&D um, &D character is perfect mascara for a smoky eye look. Yeah. <laughs> Um, John, you can't make out that bluish grey. Is it a beard or something else? Yes, yes. Is it focused in the end? He's yeah. It's like a, a big old beard. He's meant to look like a like a grizzled old dude. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you his character picture. That's that's probably a better way of doing it. Let's have a look. Uh, let's in the Emerald's head. Uh, <coughs> Oh, I thought I had a better picture of him. Pictures. Oh, did you see it? Just sign downloads, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Uh, here he is. So this is 
This is Bernie. Uh, this is this is his uh, character picture of him. So there we go. That's that's Bernie, Bernie Truckle or Bernie the Bastard. So that's that's what he looks like on the computer. And then once he gets printed and painted, he looks like this little guy here. What can you see? It's blurry, but you can kind of see the same shape. Hey, eh? <laughs> there you go. So there you go. That, that's that's who I play in D and D currently. Um, really cool. Well, Penny, thank you. Uh, how much is your 3D printer and the materials needed to print him? So the 3D printer is around about three hundred dollars. Um, the materials you're probably going to spend about that again, getting everything you need to get set up. So you're probably looking at like six, seven hundred dollars. As far as like the pure cost of printing him, it's it's like thirty cents, forty cents, or something like that. Like you you have to buy a bottle of resin that's like sixty dollars, but that bottle will do you hundred of these guys, you know. So yeah, it, the actual cost per mini once you're all up and running is is pence. So if you are if you if you're really into D and D or, or especially if you're a dungeon master. I would really recommend the resin printer because the amount of uh, models you can find online is is pretty epic. There we go. Uh, do you rest your hand on something as you paint? So I, I use a, a paint holder. This is a, the Citadel holder. And I, I go from anywhere from like having my heel of the hands together. That That's quite a pop like sort of sound of thing. And then for the real close detail, I bring my elbows into my chest. And sort of sit like this and go right, right up on it. Like get like really get the elbows against the chest there and lean back. And that gives me a really steady hand for like the super crazy detail. But normally I have elbows on the table and and, and heels of my hand together for to, to gain a bit of steadiness. Yeah. Uh your hair grew back. I know, right? I've actually shaved it a couple of times since. I think it's oh god, it looks like a bald patch there. Look at that. It's not, I don't think. Is it? Am I going bald? I just went, my hair's kinked. <laughs> Um, I've actually showed it a couple of times since then. Uh, can't wait to order my sorceress from the Hero Forge. We'll post pics on Discord. Yes, please do. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I personally don't think the 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 color ones look fantastic. But what I would say is, if you if you're getting a color printed one, you've got no real interest in painting. Go to a paint store anyway. Go to a, a game store or look on Amazon and buy something like a soft tone. Um, like a, like a bottle of this uh, this is an army painter soft tone so if you get this and basically it's like quite it's a really runny dark paint and you just get a bur any brush doesn't have to be expensive or whatever and just go um and just slop it over the model slop it out and it'll look ridiculous but then as it dries it it, it seeps down into the cracks and it'll give you loads of definition um on your on your figure it's uh, it's really awesome yeah wash, washes are the future it's called we call it um talent in a bottle because it makes models instantly look better uh i thought there were way more than that oh no no that one is i mean you can actually pick that up for like 200 dollars if you catch it on a sale um and the real question do you wear a monocle so john no i've never wore a monocle is that a real question what does that mean <laughs> uh welcome to discord yeah it's quiet i won't lie you don't expect loads going on there it's mostly just for uh, people to all meet and, and see see our videos coming out and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm tempted to do a video about that actually using washes on a on a hero on a hero forge printed miniature. But um, I don't really want one of the printed color printed miniatures, and so it's basically fifty dollars for a video, and that's a little expensive really just to, just for making a video. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Was while you paint? Oh, sorry, while I paint, I see. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't wear a monocle. No, but the, I mean, you can get like little magnifying glasses, uh, you know, light rings and stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh, talking of light rings, I've got one of those Elgato ring lights coming as well. That, that'd be exciting when that gets here. Uh, okay, so I think with this, we'll probably do this fencing the same as we've done, just to kind of keep it easy. I, mean, I just have to do something there, but otherwise, yeah, path. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, oh, this needs, I've just realized this is quite precarious, eh? That needs something. Uh, Hey, Nittybug. 
that's it going. Hold on, folks, my phone's ringing.